In this video, we will take a quick look at the special case of horizontal and vertical lines when it comes to parallel and perpendicular lines. If we have a horizontal line on this rough sketch, say at y equals 4, because it crosses the y-axis at 4, it would be parallel to another horizontal line, maybe y equals 6. Notice parallel lines keep the same form of an equation. If it's just y equals a number, then that parallel line will also be y equals the number. We'll see a similar pattern with vertical lines. What about perpendicular, though? If I were to draw a perpendicular line that intersected y equals 4 at a right angle, we now have a vertical line which crosses the x-axis, maybe at 7. If it crosses the x-axis at 7, we say the equation is x equals 7. Similarly, to be parallel to an x equals equation, we would need... I'm sorry, perpendicular to an x equals equation, we would need a y equals equation. Because parallel... I'm sorry, because vertical and horizontal lines are perpendicular. So if we were given a problem such as this one, where we're asked to find the equation of the line through 3, 4, and perpendicular to x equals 2, we know this is a vertical line, x equals 2. To be perpendicular to an x equals equation, it would need to be y equals some number. We know we want it to also go through the point 3, 4. Remember, 3, 4 is an x, y pair. If our equation is y equals, what is the y value of that point? The y value of that point is 4. This becomes the equation of our perpendicular line, y equals 4.